All right, so you boys want to tell me a little bit about this uh, creature you saw in these woods? Well, you see, I was uh, taking a, I, I was relieving myself in the forest, and uh, I saw a monster, and it was about 11 to 12. Yeah, I'd say 12. What would you say, Tom? About 13 yards. footage you're about to see with me and my partner Drew Larson going on a quest interviewing locals of uh, Marietta Georgia on the search for uh, this uh, mythical creature in the forest uh, I say that because there's a lot of uh, missing footage in this documentary uh, Drew seems to have misplaced it because I was in prison for some time shortly after the release of this production and uh, that that will be explained later, but I, I want you to enjoy and know that this quest truly is never complete until you find yourself. If this footage disturbs you or confuses you in any way, I want you to know that it did the same to me. Not as much as prison did, but it, it did the same to me. Yep. All right. Enjoy the documentary. All right. Well, right now, me and my partner Drew here are on our way to interview a man by the name of Tom Billows. He has reportedly seen this here creature we're looking for, and he's going to give us some uh, information on this creature. He can tell us what he saw, and uh, supposedly quite a few people in this area have seen it, but he seems to have the most detailed, vivid story of all. So, he lives right around here, so. Uh, over the phone, he said he had no problem talking in front of a camera. Hopefully this won't be an issue for him. Uh, maybe he's kooky, we don't know. It seems like a lot of people in these parts a little bit out of their minds. But uh, aren't we all just a little bit out of our minds? Am I right? Am I right, Drew? Oh, yeah. Am I right? Yep. Well, I don't know about me, but... All right. Well, we're here. All right, so uh, Tom is here with his friend. What's your name, son? Uh, Clint. Clint Steelflex. All right, all right. All right, so you boys want to tell me a little bit about this uh, creature you saw in these woods? Well, you see, I was uh, taking a... I, I was relieving myself in the forest and uh i saw a monster and it was about 11 to 12 yeah i'd say 12 what would you say tom about 13 yards <laughs> you, you said it's 13 yards about yeah just about 13 yards about 12 feet wide yeah, that, that'd be its diameter how okay. would you describe its teeth Raggedy. did it have teeth no it, it had about four teeth in its face <laughs> they were all saber like uh-huh how like many tiger <laughs> How many teeth do you have? 32. 12. So this creature had about the third of the teeth you have. Yeah, that, it, that I would... can't, I don't understand <laughs> what you're... Okay, so where exactly did you see this creature? You see, I was about 400 yards into the woods. Yeah, that's about right. Now, me and Clint, Yeah. we were we were about 400 yards back in my woods. The uh, so, Shepherd, the Shepherd Ranch. Yeah, the Shepherd Ranch. So. And Clint, Said, look, look, look over home. And that's when I saw the 11, 13, 14, whatever yardage it was. It was some yardage, though. It I'll tell you that. It was definitely a first down. All right, what else do you have to say about this creature? Uh, well, it was about, about 10 minutes into the procedure mm -hmm. that, that I took my, my bat here. Yeah. I took her out. The Widowmaker, as we like to call it. Yeah, the Widowmaker. Looks like a or Louisville slugger to me. We say it in the house. Oh, no, no. Anyways, <coughs> about that time, I tried to kill the beast because I was hungry. Yep. Amen to that. And that's when I hit Clint over the head. Hit me real good. Real good. I feel real bad, Clint. It's, you know, it's all right. I don't really remember it. But I forgive you. That monster ruined my life. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for laughing, sir. It sorry. killed, it killed, it killed my, my brain cell, definitely. I, All right, you boys think you could maybe show me where you saw this creature in your woods? Of course. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take him. Out here. Is this a deep? Is this oh a, my god. Are you okay? It's okay, just watch your step. It's a huge drop. Oh my, oh, that was, that was pretty steep. Right, what type of wildlife you generally see in this area? Mostly rats, raccoons. <laughs> Alright, where are we heading? Over yonder. This is track. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think this creature might still be out here? Probably, Possibly right, right in these woods right here. I actually, I actually caught a little little sound. I can try and call it in if you want. <laughs> Do it. Do it, boy. All right. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a little, a little something like. It's a mixture of a noise. Stop it, Dan! You're gonna call it. No, you're gonna call it. Stop! We don't want no trouble here, Mister. You smell it. You can you can hear it. It's a it's a musty smell. It's it smells like me after not bathing for yep. three and a half weeks. I've done that before. I've I'm, done I've that. I've done it at the moment. Nothing wrong with that. You do smell Nothing kind of funny, Mister. Well, that's 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 a little rude, I might say. <laughs> But I'll let it slide because I do smell pretty bad. It's a pungent. It's a, it's a strong odor. All right. After receiving further information, uh, Drew and I have decided that uh, we're going to be going into the woods for three days. And uh, we just got done packing. We're heading to the campsite right now. We'll be there pretty soon. Uh, I did contact a man about we're gonna be staying in a cabin of his. He's got built up in the woods near the river, where a majority of uh, sightings I've been seeing is right next to the river. So uh, hopefully we'll see this creature. And hopefully it does no harm to us, because I don't know if we can handle it. Because I've never really seen it, so I don't know what it's capable of. But from descriptions by Tom and the things of that nature. It does sound like it could be pretty big. He did say it was about 13 yards high, which doesn't make much sense, but uh, they seemed like pretty knowledgeable people, uh, Tom and Cliff. Clint, Clint Cliff, I don't know what the kid's name was. I didn't know he was gonna be there. But, uh, alrighty. I think we're pulling up on the campgrounds about now. about over here. Alrighty. It's these woods over here we're going to be traveling into. These people right here have agreed to let me uh, park in their driveway. Not their driveway, uh, alongside their street right here. And uh, from there we're going to go venture into the woods. we got a pretty good outlook. These people who live here haven't really told me anything about this creature. They've never seen it before, never heard it. But uh, I don't know. You never know. All right. All right. Well, we'll hear. We'll, we'll be back with you guys as soon as uh, our adventures begin. And if anything picks up, we'll be the first to know about it. Take a bow. All right. So far, we haven't really seen any signs of a uh, wild creature life apart from that of Peter Cottontail and various squirrels. Um, Drew, you haven't seen anything interesting, have you? I have not. All right, well this here is a tree. I mean, trees are living, but this ain't what we're looking for. We're looking for some sort of unicorn-like wildebeest, minotaur, something of that nature. Uh, all right, well, I think we're approaching a clearing. I gotta make a phone call real quick. A uh, gentleman told me that we could use his cabin located out here in these here woods so we wouldn't have to rough it and potentially get our guts eaten out while we were asleep. That's always good. Yep. All right. Hi, hey, hey, is this Jimbo? Yeah, yeah. This is Jacob. Yeah, we talked to you about that uh, cabin in them woods next to that clearing over by the river. Yeah, I'm the one looking for that, uh, that mystical creature out here. Oh, is it all ready? Oh, that, oh, that's okay. It'll be fine. All right. All right, thank you very much, sir. We'll be out of there in about 24 hours. Thank you. All right. Come on, boy. It's right up here. Well, it is nice out here. We got blue skies. Perfect day to catch a wild edible. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. 
Hold on, I'm gonna try and work on my animal calls. Hold on, I'm pretty unsuccessful. I'll get it someday. All right, come on, Drew. Oh, we've got lanterns out here. Sweet. Oh, sweet, we got a longbow. Perfect. This is it. Oh, this is gross. All right, well, this will have to do. Go ahead, cut it off, Drew. Uh, just got up. Drew's still asleep over there in his corner. I'm gonna go see if I can spot anything out here. I thought maybe I heard a rustling. Maybe I was wrong. There's some very pretty wilderness out here. Oh, excuse me, I have to use the restroom. God. Ah! Monster. Ah, there's back there. Drew, wake up. I saw it. Where? It's out there. Well, let's go get it. No, run. Run. Ah. You stay back, Drew. I'm gonna go kill this animal. I'm gonna prove to them crazy locals that we done seen it. I'll be back. I said it's by the river. I'm going. Come out, creature. Killed him. I killed him. We're good. We're good. Uh oh, those police sirens. Uh-oh. Well, they're coming for us. Let's get out of here.